Good morning, Ernie. Now, when news first broke that Rex Hewerman was the suspected person responsible for the Gilgo Beach killings, people in this neighborhood flocked to this street and crowded the surrounding streets. Now, almost two weeks later, it's attracting outsiders and it's affecting the quality of life here and police want it to end. So now they will be setting up two cameras that will be monitored 24-7 and it also be uh, able to watch anyone who is trying to get a glimpse or snap a photo of the house. Additionally, if someone is suspected of taking pictures, they will uh, they will be uh, fined $150 summons. There will also be a police detail and targeted patrols around the house. This is an effort to help rescue, uh, restore calm back to this quiet suburban neighborhood. We are putting cameras on the block. We're going to have enforcement out there. We're going to make sure that that we're not going to turn this into some kind of sideshow. We are now in the 12th day of this investigation, and drone footage shows the backyard of the Hewerman house. Investigators have been utilizing heavy machinery like an excavator and also ground-penetrating ra uh, radar to find evidence beneath the surface of the soil. Officials also said they cannot confirm at this time if any bodies have been at the house. And the Suffolk County Police Commissioner corrected information about a possible sound room in the house. He said that it's actually a walk-in vault with a big iron door that kept many guns belonging to Hewerman. Now, as far as Hewerman, he is still being held at Suffolk County Jail, and he is due back in court on August 1st. We're live in Massapequa Park. Michelle Ross, PIX11 News.